Hi, I'm Alex Archbull. I've been buying and selling antiques since I was a kid. Over the years, generations of our family have gotten involved in the business, and I'll search just about anywhere I can to find hidden treasures both big and small. I never know what I'll turn up next. It's about exploring new places, seeing new sights, and having fun. And even though sometimes I get over my head, we try and make things a little better along the way. This is Curiosity Inc. Well, hi everybody, how you doing? I am in Arkansas right now. That's Arkansas, those are Arkansas trees going by in the background. Um, I am out here to see what the antique shops are like, to go to a few antique malls and antique shops and kind of see what's happening on the scene in Arkansas. And today I'm driving out, um, I guess it's near the town of Springdale. And uh, we're gonna go see an antique mall and flea market combo and uh, hopefully we'll find a few interesting things to show you and maybe if I'm lucky a couple things for me to buy so let's head on down this trail and see what we can find on another adventure here in Arkansas let's go they've got some fancy old frat houses near the university here holy cow I was expecting there to be like uh, you know like a couch on the lawn and nope just a big old fancy house well let's go Okie dokie, I have arrived at the Rose Antique Mall and Flea Market, where it looks like they buy gold and silver. And this is uh, actually a little past Springdale. Uh, let's go in and see what kind of stuff they got in there. Well, when I walked in, I noticed it's a lot bigger. Look at that. It's way bigger in here than I thought it was going to be. And I guess we've got to go aisle by aisle and see what they've got this is kind of your more traditional antique mall what i was kind of thinking Ooh, that's kind of an odd little this is like a court stenographer style it's a uh, shorthand typing interesting I, I had one of those once i have no idea how to uh type on it i'm sure somebody watching knows maybe you can leave in the comments how you would actually uh write a word out I know it's abbreviated to some degree. Red rooster bowls and plates. I'm surprised. I, I would be shocked if there's not a bunch of Pyrex around here. Oh, that's kind of neat. Silver skull. It's um, like ceramic. I don't know. I like the I like unusual sort of stuff. I wouldn't mind. I'd had a crystal skull like that, and I sold it, and I kind of wish I would have hung on to it. Some tin toys, it's newer, like, I mean, now they're getting old, but like 1980s kind of replica tin toys. You go, oh, it's not that old, but then you start thinking, gosh, it actually is old. Some silver jewelry. Of course, if Melissa was here with me, oh, and it's 50% off, she would be looking at the rings. But I've learned my lesson when it comes to buying jewelry for my wife that I have n very little clue. Jewelry and shoes, I always seem to, to mess up somehow. So I leave that for her. Let's see, throw pillows. Don't see a lot of throw pillows at an antique mall, but hey. And cowboy hats. I can't remember where I was. Oh, maybe it was out, I was at Howard's house. He had a big collection of salt and pepper shakers that his mom had put together. Remember Howard, the Rolls Royce guy? Very nice man. He has a pretty big collection of salt and pepper shakers. I don't think he collected them. I think he just ended up with them. Let's see. I'm looking at all the cases because I have a feeling that that's where the stuff I'm interested in is going to be. Little Budweiser set there. Little bats on top. Somebody who collects, is it Brurania? Brurania? <laughs> Brewery collectibles. The old style napkin dispenser. I had one of those when I was a kid. Found it at a yard sale. Then I fill it up with napkins. I just, I guess I wanted a 50s diner in my bedroom. Old family photos. Lots of books. Melissa would be digging through these. 
no doubt. I notice a lot of the antique shops around here have candy displays and counters, and I guess we did too. We used to have uh, a whole candy department at our shop too, and in fact it was one of the most uh, popular parts of our store for a while. Okay, we've got the showcases, which you always want to have a look in, because that's you'd think that's where the the better stuff, what's in the drawer? Oh, they gotta fix that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be a child. <laughs> if Melissa was watching, she'd be shaking her finger at me. <laughs> oh, there's Vaseline glass, uranium glass, glows under black light. And there's some nice little Pyrex set. 160 bucks for the set of four. Those are the uh, refrigerator dishes. It's always good value in Pyrex. That's why I'm always looking at the Pyrex when I'm uh, going through somebody's house, the kitchen. It reminds me, when I get back from Arkansas, I have a um, house that had been hoarded that we got to do one walkthrough in, and I bought a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to have a much better look at the old clothing because... I left behind stacks and stacks of denim and stuff that would probably sell. Oh, coach purses. Melissa does like her purses. I've done okay with finding purses for her. Well, there's some more Pyrex there. That's the uh, Amish butter print, but it's pink. Melissa has the, uh, well, she's got that set, the turquoise blue, which is like her favorite color. That kind of blue is one of Melissa's favorite colors. Like that. I don't know, they made a pink set. That's kind of neat, but look, $300 just for the one. And I have a uh, Starburst, uh, Atomic Starburst casserole dish that is worth about 1500 bucks, if you can believe it. Oh, there's more of the blue Amish butter print. I wonder what the deal is with all these Astoria chocolate pelicans, maybe. It must have been some sort of promotional thing. Some blown glass. Neat artwork there. Oh, there's a very fancy punch bowl. I think that's what that is. Bohemian, 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 my gosh. Cobalt crystal bowl. That's pretty fancy. That's like the type of stuff you find when you go to Czech Republic or Europe. Well, and your other parts of Europe. What are they asking? Look, that one Vaseline glass pitcher right there, $124. Just the plate, 21 we used to get um, about 10 to 15 dollars canadian for our plates and about seven to ten dollars each for the cups but i mean they might hold a better value in this market and also it's been a couple of years since i had my store so the prices might have changed and might have gone up a bit well here's stuff that's kind of up my alley the old toys and i am the last uh, antique mall i went to didn't have any I'm looking for, of course, Redline Hot Wheels, World Corgi toys maybe that I don't have. What happened here? That looks like it was the, uh, somebody glued an engine on top. That might have been a Redline at one point, close to it. Doesn't have the right wheels. It looks like a heavy Chevy. But somebody's customized. But we're getting warmer. We're getting warm on this. Look, some old baseball cards. I don't see a Mickey Mantle rookie card. Should be a nice find. You never know. More rings, more jewelry. It looks like a lot of estate jewelry. And the prices aren't too bad. $6 a ring, $10 a ring. Seems really, really fair, actually. Dr. Leonard McCoy Star Trek glass back there. Oh, n nesting hen dish. Found one of those in a house clear out once. It actually sold quite well. I think we got over $100 for it. And that one's $38. They're always neat. Blondie and Dagwood. 
thermos. Don't see that too often. Nor do you see the Pennzoil outboard motor oil glass jar. Oh yeah, there's the pink gooseberry set. $333. It's the one I found when I was in um, uh, when I was in Colorado last, somebody had a set like that. I think it was around a hundred dollars or maybe a hundred and a half. And I passed it by and when I got home, I thought, oh, I should have figured out a way to get it back home. There's some watches down there. Always looking for good old automatic wrist watches. Sports cards and collectibles, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, there's an Amos and Andy car. I think it might've had a different roof on at one point. Asking price on that is $249. Costume jewelry. Stumbled across some of that in the house recently. In the last place I was at, the guy said he had a bunch of jewelry and coins, but he'd pulled them out of the house and we found a box for a Sherman set. And he said, oh, it's just costume jewelry. I said, no, no, no. Sherman is not just costume jewelry. That stuff can be worth as much as actual gems and gold. So I think he's going to bring that stuff and meet me with it, which would be great. I'm just kind of having to browse around. Fun for all ages. The Wibbler. What the heck is a Wibbler? Looks like it wasn't a big seller. Oh, I guess you just kind of like you put your feet on it and teeter around. Wibble race, wibble dance, wibble games. Look, they ran out of things to think of. You can walk, you can race, you can dance, and I don't know, some kind of games. <laughs> Somebody found uh, some old wibble inventory. <laughs> Never seen one of those before. Eight bucks. Not bad, considering it's new old stock. Do you want to have a couple uh, pints with your friends and then see if you can wibble your way out the door afterwards? Oh, there's the, I think that's the 1949 primary bowl set. hundred and a quarter on that. Pyrex, good stuff. It's always nice when you see a very organized booth. I just love it. Like they've got their pinks, they've got the blues and purples and the reds all together. So if you're trying to collect kind of a certain color or theme, and that's what Melissa does. She looks for turquoise sort of things for our kitchen. You can come right to the department you're looking for and find it. Whether it's a hand with flowers on it like that or cups or art glass just makes for a nicer shopping experience I think in my humble opinion so I was talking about vintage clothes earlier and there you go there's a quilted 1960s dynasty psychedelic multicolor quilted hostess dress made by Charles and Company Hong Kong <laughs> but the crazier the patterns, the crazier the styles, the bigger the price. 125 bucks on that. So when you find a closet full of 1960s clothes, it's worth kind of pulling them out and getting them cleaned up because there is definitely some serious money to be made on old stuff. And where else would you find that other than right there? There's always kind of a different vibe with every antique store you go in. Some have more knickknacks and toys and glassware. This one has a lot of glassware. In fact, I've seen a lot of Pyrex here. Um, and then you go into other shops and it's more um, like sports cards and oil and gas related stuff. So this seems to be a good mix with the odd little gas station item and, you know, little piggy banks and knickknacks all around. So it's making for some fun browsing because you just turn around and you have no idea what's going to be on a shelf. And you hope you're going to find something cool. I've never seen one of these before. Apparently, it's a giant Ninja Turtle storage thing. I guess you store your figures inside of it or whatever you want. His back opens up. But it's like the size. I was going to say it's life size. If it was a, I don't know, it's, it's the size of a human, <laughs> not the size of a turtle. I guess that'd be less terrifying if you saw just like a little tiny turtle running at you with nunchucks. Still, the nunchucks would throw me off, but that's really neat. Never ever seen one of those before. It's the Red Rider comic. Remember the uh, Christmas story movie? You'll shoot your eye out with the Red Rider BB gun? Well, there's the comic to match. And the Popeye thermos down there. R2-D2. 
I, don't, I didn't keep any of my Star Wars toys. I used to have a bunch of them. The only thing I have is an R2-D2 with a little his periscope that comes up because that was a harder one to find. And I was big into Star Wars as a youngster, as most guys my age and younger and older can be. I don't know if you guys saw the video I did, but uh, went to a guy's house and he had a huge collection of Star Wars. There are some old Hot Wheels cases, but no Hot Wheels inside. I'm just checking to see. It's nice to find those when they're full of toys. When I met my brother Steve for the first time, he was a surprise. Well, he wasn't surprised. He knew he existed. I didn't know he existed, but he had a, uh, oh, I pick that up. He invited me in his house and he had just like stacks of cases of cool old toy cars and stuff. It's like we had so much in common without even knowing each other. Everywhere I go lately, there's been vintage clothing just creeping up in more places than usual. And I should really keep my eye on it as a future collectible because my daughter, um, who's 14 and my son, who's 16, both are really enamored with vintage clothing. So I've got to really think about what collectibles are coming around. Because the stuff I like might not be the stuff that my kids are going to like. Or the next generation. There are some nice geodes and stones and rocks. And I think I saw that up around the corner they said they had kind of their fancy stuff like the coins. So let's go walk up and have a look. Or is it Gretch? Haven't heard of that brand before. Greed Love Guitar. I'm sure somebody watching at home, or is it Breed Love? Breed Love. Gosh, that was a lot of fun. I have to say the people were really nice, um, wanted to chat and talk and we, they could tell I wasn't from around here. So they asked where I was from and I said Canada. And one of them had roots in Canada going back a hundred years and gave me some suggestions on places to see. I got a little flyer here. So really good experience. Definitely recommend checking out the Rose Antique Mall um, if you're ever up this way in Arkansas. But guys, thanks so much. That's it for me for this tour. But stay tuned for more. I'm going to hit some more spots along the way. See you soon and bye for now.